Hi all, in the last video we have seen the types of the DC generator. Now I would like to tell how the EMF will be developed in a self-excited DC generator. In separately excited DC generator, the field actually excited by the separately battery. So the, uh, the flux is directly linked with the armature. So EMF will be produced. But whereas in self-excited DC generator, if we take shunter type DC generator, here, this self-excited means the current should be provided from the uh, so the flux should be provided from this uh, shunt field winding but initially there will be no armature current in the armature so here how the emf will be eg will be developed see if we consider i'll just draw a one graph Say this is IF. And this is EG. So we will always get a doubt that without any flux, how the EMF will be generated because initially there will be no current through the shunt field winding. Then how the EMF will be generated in the armature. So the logic is that the, the magnets used here will already have some residual magnetism. So because of the residual magnetism which is existing in the magnets will produce some EMF say a 5 volts so now this 5 volts will produce some IA current and from this current some ISH will flow so once the ISH will flow through the shunt field winding there will be the flux generation so the flux will be produced which may be little bit but this flux will link to the armature armature conductors so again the emf will be induced hence now the eg before the 5 volts and the emf generated by the produced flux will accumulate and the eg will be increased say it may be for 10 volts now now this 10 volts will produce a bit larger current ia and also a bit ish more so the flux will be more compared to before so this bit more flux will again link to the armature conductor and again the EMF will be increased. So likewise, this phenomenon will increase step by step. So the EMF will be increased step by step and at one position, though the current increases, the flux produced will not increase so that position is called a saturation so at saturation point the emf induced will be same so likewise the voltage in a self-excited dc generator will develop so hope everybody understood a short video and thank you.